I, um, I think you better all go, please. Oh, you are. Sorry, everybody. Look, um, one more, one more in the kitchen. Hey, wait. Come on, kids. Come on. Stay with the ball. Come on. <laughs> Believe it. No. Uh, tell you the truth, so I'm not quite sure I can either. Listen, go ahead, son. Look, I don't know. I've got to talk to Pat, and, and it's best if we do that, you know, on our own. You probably want to stay with you. I don't want to stay with you two, princess. I really do, but I've got to talk to Pat first. Listen, it's really where you can go. Why can't we stay here? It's just that I need to talk to Pat, boy. We need a bit of time just to ourselves, that's all. Come on, Mickey. We'll go for my mum's. Thank you. Is it all right? I'm going to give you my word. I'll pick you up as soon as I can, yeah? What do you want me to do? You stay here. This is your home. You coming in for a drink, Cindy? No, I better get home. He'll be back home soon. What can I get you? Need two large brownies, honey. You okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. Yeah. <laughs> what? Frank's back. Why do chickens watch television? I don't know. Blimey, is it Christmas again already? I forgot my sack. Are you just in time? Sorry? We're just about to propose a toast to the landlord for opening up on Christmas Day. That's a very nice thought, but I really should be going. Uh, uh, you can't do that, you see, because Grant is the landlord. And it's on the house. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Frank's back. What? I'd better go and talk to him. OK, but I'll be in here. You holler, and I'll come running. So what's it, sir? Uh, no kiss for the old man, did he? Don't push your luck, Frank. No. No, of course not, I... Uh, I, um, I, I tried to phone. <laughs> Never got past the first four numbers. I didn't know what to say, you see. I, I thought everything would slot in a place, you know, if, uh, if I saw you. Hey, you look, uh, well, you look great. Pat, I what are you doing here, Frank? What sort of a question is that, babe? I mean, you know, every, everything I have is, is here. Do you really think you could walk back in here? And everything will be exactly as you left it. No, 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 of course not, darling. I mean, you know, yeah, I, I know I know things have changed. I, I, I mean, I, I've changed, babe. I, I can... Pat, I can, um... I know, I know that you're upset, and I, I, know, I know there, there should have been a way to, to let you know that I was coming, but, you know, I'm here now, and, well, you know, uh, sooner or later we've got to start picking up the bits and pieces, so, you know, why not here, eh? You, why not now, you know what I mean? Baby, we're never going to get anywhere talking to each other through other people, are we? Frank, there's something you ought to know. No, no, please don't, please. Me first, please don't. I, I'm, I want to try to explain, you see. Well, there's, there's so much I've got to tell you. Can we, um, can, can we sit down? Yeah. You know what you were saying? Eh? Yeah. About being charged and putting in mind, and not getting out. What about it? Was that true? Look, Grandad, if they've charged you, refused you bail, banged you up in here, and your brief hasn't come up when to get you out, the court case is just a formality. Even if I'm innocent? <sighs> You've been watching too much telly. But can that really happen? They can keep me in here, even though I haven't done anything wrong. You're in here now, aren't you? Yeah, but I'm just waiting for the trial. <sighs> Time to wake up, Grandad. You're not going anywhere. So if you're looking forward to the not guilty and the tearful reunion with your old lady, I'd forget all about it. You better tell her you used to being on her own. You're here for the foreseeable, mate. So you don't know about Roy? Well, it probably does by now. 
So, uh, did he say what had happened or, or where he'd been? I just wanted to talk to Pat. That would be some conversation. in. Uh, police picked me up one night. Asked me who I was. Where I came from. You know, I'm not sure whether I didn't know or I just didn't want to tell them. I don't really remember too much after that. There was a lot of coming and going. Um, people looking at me, pulling me about, asking me questions. Next thing I know, I'm in hospital. They said I had uh, <laughs> some sort of a breakdown. And it's been a it's been a long haul back. But the one thing, the one thing I kept me going through all this time was was the thought of this. Today. Me and you sitting here like this, coming back, making everything up to you. We can't. Oh, no, no, but I, I promise you, that is where you're wrong. That, that's what I used to think, see? You know, that we could really turn the clock back, but then I start to think. Who says we can't have back what we had before? Even better than we had before. I know it's going to take time, and I know it's going to be easy. But, babe, when has it ever been any different? It's always been the same with me and you going, eh? Me and you against the world, eh? No, Frank. Yeah, but, but, but just think about it. Just think about it. Me and you back together again. Shall I'm all done, eh? No. Pat, Pat, darling. I give you my word. I will make it up to you. I know how hard it must have been keeping this place together, looking after Ricky and Jermaine, but sweetheart, you're not on your own anymore. I can help. Frank, you're not listening to me. Things are different now. What do you think I've been doing all that time? Sitting here waiting for you to come back? No. Has anybody told you what you left behind? The body in the ashes of a fire you started. Oh, yes, I know about that. You sent Diane to see me, remember? The insurance claim was refused. The mortgage not paid. People knocking on the door for money. Bills stretching as far as I could see. I had three pounds and 85 pence in my purse when you left this house. You left me with two kids and no way of looking after them. So don't sit there and tell me not to worry anymore because you're back. I have done all my waiting, all my hoping, and that is over and finished with. Over a year I waited for you to come back. A year of, of stomach churning worry, of sleepless nights, of having to face people out there knowing that they were talking about me. I scrub people's floors. 
I cleaned their toilets. I worked 14 hours a day to keep this place going and to put food on the table, not for me. Oh, no. I could have quite happily done a runner and all. But for Ricky and Janine. So don't you tell me that you know how hard it must have been for me, because you can't even begin to imagine. And after a while, I stopped waiting for you to come back. I stopped thinking about you at all. I can't blame you for that, Don. To be honest, Frank, I don't care what you think anymore. That's all in the past. I'm better now. I'm happier than I've been for as long as I can remember. And you've got no right, no right to come back and take that away from me and all. Looks like what a load out to play. You coming then, Grandad? Give it to me. Actually, I think I'll keep it and show Sarah. Hmm. Ah! Hey, 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 what's, what's going on? Nothing. He's trying to hurt me, Mum, tell him. No, I'm not. He's, he's trying to make me photo. What photo? Oh, she can have it if she wants. Give it to me. This fat over photo. I told them I wasn't ready to see you. That I needed time. Baby, time for what? Look, you haven't said a single thing I didn't expect you to say. I knew how you must have been feeling after all this time and you may have given up on me. And whatever you say, I don't just expect us to pick up where we left off. Dee, can't we at least try? No, Frank, we can't. Look, 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 look. I don't have to move back in or anything. I'm staying with a little B&B around the corner, just off the high street. You know, I can stay there while we work this thing out. You expected to move back in here? Oh, 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 of course I did. Like I said, I know it's going to take time, but, hey, you know, it's, um, <laughs> it's still my house. You gave up all rights to this house and anything in it the day you walked out. <laughs> hey, look, 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 I haven't come here to argue about the house, darling. I've come here to talk about us, you and me. There is no you and me anymore, Frank. Can't you understand that? Oh, OK, enough's enough, eh? I mean, I'm, I don't mind you having a pop at me. I expected that. I deserve everything that you want to throw at me. But don't tell me there's nothing for us to talk about. I mean, this, this, this is my home. And you're my wife. This is your home because your name's still on the deeds. And I'm still your wife because they told me I couldn't get a divorce while you were still missing. I went to try and get a divorce. Well, Bobby, you I can understand that, sweetheart. I mean, that was when you thought you might never see me again. Surely there's a difference now that I'm back. But losing you like that, Frank, for all I know, you could have been dead. I grieved for you. I cried for you, and then I had to bury you. And you can't ask me to go back. It's not fair of you to expect that. Maybe I am. I still love you. I'm, I've never stopped loving you, not, not for a day, not, not for a single second, babe. Stop it, Frank, this is not fair. Oh, darling, darling, look, the day, everything I care about is here. You, you, you the kids, my whole life, I mean, you, you know, I need, I need you. Look, if you're t telling me that um, I haven't got that, I haven't got that anymore, well, what's the point in carrying on, Pat, please? Baby, 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 please, please. <laughs> Oh, how'd you get on? Oh, I tell you what, I needn't have bothered. Hey? Well, I went over there, right, to give a bit of moral support. Well, when I get there, they're all having the time of their lives. That Willie bloke was around them. Yeah, well, wait till you happened to Pat. Oh, yeah, what happened? Frank turned up. Frank? You're joking? No, we were sitting waiting for Father Christmas and he just walked in. Well, was Roy there? Yeah. Well, so what happened? Well, I know Pat asked us to go. Well, is he still there? Well, must be. I'll tell you what, this could get interesting. Yeah, well, I'm sure we'll find out later when we go to the pub. David and Barry are over there. Yeah. Well, so much for a quiet Christmas, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, look, I put the vegetables on when I got back, okay? Be about five minutes. What said I was going to do it? Well, I got back first, didn't I? I thought the sooner we have lunch, the sooner we can go and see Mum at the pub. Mm. So go and wash your hands. Go yeah, on. all right. Oh, um, I popped into the Vic on my way to Auntie Pauling's, right? Gave them their present. You should have seen Mitchell's face. Yeah, I can imagine. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's little moments like that which make life worth living. <laughs>
Well, I think we should arrange a party for the day after the court case. Celebrate Arthur's homecoming. That's a nice thought. Yeah. Oh, well, Steve's coming forward is the first sign that things will turn out right. From now on, we have to be positive. Believe things will turn out for the best. I think that's what Arthur would want. Well, of course it is. Excuse me. Hello? Arthur. I tried to ring this morning, but I couldn't. Look, I haven't got long, and I need to say something. Hey, what, don't you want to speak to Martin? He's right here. Arthur. Arthur, are you all right? You've got to listen to me. I don't want you to come here anymore. No, you don't understand. I don't want you to. Any of you. Oh, Arthur, don't talk like that. You're just having a bad day, that's all. No, I mean it, Pauline. I don't want you to see me like this. But if you do come, I just refuse to see you. Just tell everyone to stay away. Goodbye. I love you. you look, Pat? Look at me, darling. Look at me. Look at me and tell me you don't love me. I don't love you. Look at me and tell me you don't love me. Look at me and say it. I don't love you, Frank. Well, what did you expect? You left me on my own. Well, I never stopped loving you, pal. I never stopped loving you. Sorry. Darling, look, look, you're the only thing that's kept me going for all this time. The thought of me and you getting back together again. It's too late. No, 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 it's not too late. No, no, I want it to be too late. I'm not going to give up on you just like that. You know, it's, it's the shock, man. That's what it is. It's just a shock. You know, you, you need a bit of time, like you say, you know. You know, time, time to work things out. I don't know what we can do. We can take the kids out, eh? Be a family again. I'll book something tomorrow, or, or maybe the next day, or the, or the day after that. But, but, but please, Pat. Please, just don't. go, Frank, please. No. I don't want you no, here. No, 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 you don't. You don't mean it. I know you don't mean yes, it. Yes, I do mean it. There is nothing here for you please. anymore. Will you please go back to where you came from? I don't want well, you just, here. Just, 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 just talk to me, Pat. Look, I just want to talk Stop to you. Stop it! Baby. Stop it! Baby, please. Pat. Just look, all I want to do, darling, darling, all I want to do is talk, and I don't want to take it. Come on. Pat. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? My name is Roy. Well, I'm, uh, I'm very, uh, <clears throat> very pleased to meet you, Roy, but, um, would you say, excuse us, I'm having a discussion with my wife. Oh, uh, sorry, I can't do that. Pat. I think she's had enough, don't you? I would have thought that was between me and Pat. You can see that she's upset. Pat. Just leave Frank, please. Well, yeah, I'll go just as soon as somebody explains to me what's going on here. You mean... you and him? That's what she's all about. Why didn't you go when I asked you to? Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! I'm sorry, I, I've got a bit held up. It's all right, George. Don't, don't worry about it. I could come back. No, no, uh, look, uh, you, uh, you get off home, eh? Would you mind leaving, please? I, uh, I need to talk to Pat. I want him to stay. Don't you think we need to discuss this? I don't see what else there is to talk about. Well, call me, um, Picky. But don't you think this changes things a bit? Maybe. Anything we want to say, we can say in front of Roy. Well, I... I don't know about anybody else, but, um... I need a drink. I'll get it. Roy? No, thanks. Hello, Grandad. You're just in time to join the party. <laughs> <laughs> 
Look, Frank, I know we've got things to sort out, but I don't see why we can't do it together, the three of us. Hey, hey, hey. You hang on a minute. This is between me and you, so if you don't mind, we'll leave the new boyfriend out of this, shall we? Her problems are my problems. I'd stay out as involved as you, pal. I'm reasonable as it may seem, I'm finding it very hard not to come over there and hang one on your chin. Frank! It's all right, pal. Yeah, at least I know now why you wouldn't talk to me. You had him in here earwigging. I wouldn't have said any different if he wasn't here. Now, I knew that wasn't you. I knew there was something wrong. It'd be different if you weren't here, pal, I tell you that. I'll go if Pat wants me oh, to. Oh, goodness gracious me. What have we got here, then? Does he come when you call him as well? Does Stop he... it, Frank! <laughs> you any idea how long we've known each other? Pat's told me everything. <laughs> I doubt that, pal. I doubt that. What are you say, pal? Not everything, eh? eh? So, how long's this been going on, then? You two. I don't think that's any of your business. I want you to leave. You are still my wife. I asked how long? Seven, eight months. Ooh. Serious in, is it? I should like to think so. Oh, you would like to think so, would you? And what would you like to think? Yes. It's serious. Do you know, I wouldn't have seen this with my own eyes. I would never have believed it. Mind? this much longer. It's gonna be all right. Well, you've seen what Janine's like. She can't understand why she can't see her dad. Him and Pat got a lot of things to sort out. Just give him a bit of time, eh? He's been there over an hour. I want to talk to him. Find out what's happened, you know, where he's been, how long he's staying. Well, you can ask him all that later. How you doing? Yeah, all right. Well, we're just dishing up. Five minutes, all right? If he thinks he's getting his hands on deals on wheels, he's a big shock. A bit previous, isn't it? He's only just got it. Yeah, but well, you don't know Frank. Do you think we should go over there and see what's happening? No, nah, we better give it another 10 minutes. All right, lads. All right. What's happening? It's low over there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That can't be that bad. I haven't heard anything being smashed yet. Oh, see you inside. Thanks. Where is everybody? We've taken Martin to the park and Willie's gone home. Oh. I'm sorry. You don't have to be. What happened? He said... He said he didn't want any of us to go and see him anymore. He didn't mean it. But Mark, he did. I'm so frightened for him. I thought you were coming back in, Frank. Sorry. I've been thinking. Yes, are we? About Ricky and Janine. Hey, hey. The kids are fine. I'm their dad. They love me. They'll be okay. It's just us. No, no. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm sorry about this, pal. But you wouldn't leave and let us talk, so I'm afraid you're just going to have to hear this. <clears throat> I had no reason to expect that you hadn't. Found someone else. Of course, you needed a friend. Someone to talk to, someone to take you out now and again. Like you said, it's been nearly two years. It hasn't crossed my mind, but there you go, that's me, isn't it? It doesn't have to make a difference. I'm, uh, I'm back now. And doesn't matter what he thinks or anybody else thinks, I know you still love me. So 
Tell him to go. Tell him to go now, and me and you can we uh, <coughs> we, we, we can talk about this thing. Pat, please. Why don't you just listen to her? You shut your mouth, you pal, or I'll swear I'll shut it for you. Oh, that's your solution. That's my solution. Let me in the pair of you. Then, then tell him to go home. And me and you, we can, um, we can talk about this. He is home. What, what? He's living here with me. We're living together. Frank! 